Hi, this is Nick Reese. I'm a clinician here at Complete Physical Therapy. And today I want to talk to you about how we can use resistance band here to turn on muscles that have been dormant. They're not doing their job and how to activate those muscles. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kick off a shoe here because I want my foot to be engaged. I want the muscles of my foot, my lower leg working. I also want to be able to turn on the muscles of my hip and my core. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this band on the outside. The big fancy term for this is reactive neuromuscular training. Basically, I'm going to provide a resistance against the muscles that I want to activate. When I'm doing this exercise, I want to think of a tripod foot. I want equal pressure on the big toe side as the outside and the heel of my foot. The other muscle that we're really trying to isolate during this movement is what we call the glute medius. That muscle helps control rotation uh, at my hip. A lot of times if we have weakness or lack of control, we'll see a diving in of our knee. Uh, it leads to a lot of hip pain, knee pain, very common problem that people have. So once I am ready to start this exercise, I'm going to press through my big toe. I'm going to turn my knee outward. I'm going to feel this muscle on the outside of my hip start to turn on. I'm going to slowly bring my body weight over the middle of my foot. Once I feel that engage, I want to slowly go up. I want to re-engage, push my big toe, turn my thigh out, and slowly go back down. I also want to pay attention, if I can, get a mirror in front of me. I want to see if my hip is dropping from side to side. I want to see if my knee is diving in and out. I also want to make sure that I don't see my foot coming up and off of the ground. If I focus on all of these things, I create a nice, stable lower extremity, less likely to cause knee pain, hip pain, foot and ankle pain.